Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Unbound. And today we are going to solve ninth question that came as a three marker in Math Canada 2024 exam for grades three and four. And if you're liking these series, and if we are able to help you out with any of the questions, do hit the like button and let us know more of your doubts in the comment section below. So let's get started with our ninth problem. So the question is asking us that four different positive integers are placed on the grid and then covered up. The products of the integers in each row and the column is shown in the diagram. So what is the sum of the four integers? So in these four boxes, we have to put different, different integers, okay? They have to be different, okay? Like these faces, okay? We cannot put two and two here or one and one here because they are asking us four different positive integers. So what we can do is we can start with the smallest number, okay? So in such type of grids, in such type of problem, we are going to always start with the smallest number that is four. Because if we split four, so we can either get two times two is four, or we can get four times one is four. Correct? No other option is there. So we cannot put two and two in two different boxes, right? because it is going to be same then. We have to put different numbers. That means we can put one and four because one times four is four. Now four can come here or four can come here. What do you think in which of the box four will come? Yes, in the bottom part. Why? Because if we see row wise, then we have to multiply a number with four to get eight or to get six. And we know six does not come in the table of four, right? So that's why it is going to be written in the bottom box. And one will come in the top. Now, if you are able to do this much part, then it this question is super duper easy for you. We know one times six is six. And we know four times two is eight, right? And we are done. We have completed the whole entire grid. And you can check the bottom version of it. 6 times 2 is 12. Every condition is fixed, right? We got four different numbers. While multiplying rows or the columns, the numbers which are written here and here, right? If we multiply them, we are getting the same answer. Correct. So, we have completed the grid now. What are they asking? What is the sum of four integers? So, add them and let me know the answer in the comment section. I'm giving you three seconds for it. Pause the video and let me know the answer in the comments below. One, two, and three. And our correct answer is 13. Six plus four is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. Easy? I hope you like the tutorial. If yes, let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to meet you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.